What's up, guys? Matt Brown here for PlayPicks.com and TheLines.com. Going to talk to you about this Thursday night football game between the Eagles and the Packers. But before we get started, please hit the subscribe button on this page. Everything on this page is always, on this channel, is always going to be free. Free information, free offers for sports books, everything like that. Listen, we're not going to win them all, but we are damn sure going to try. So please hit that subscribe button below, like this video, and let us know in the comments who you are playing in this game, if you have a side, whatever it might, if you have a total that you like, whatever it might be, player props, all those things. We certainly love to get in on the conversation as well. And of course, be sure and visit playpicks.com if you want the full written breakdown of the game here. You can also go to thelines.com and you head over to the NFL here. You click on TNF for Thursday Night Football. You'll get a little breakdown here as well. You'll see the uh, Lines at the various sports books, too. You can toggle between New Jersey and Pennsylvania if you want to. Spread, money line, total, all of those great things. So be sure and do that. And you can see in the links below, uh, play picks slash bonus for all the very best sports book offers you can get anywhere, as well as dkpicks.com for the free, very free, free money at uh, DraftKings Sportsbook. So if you're over there in New Jersey, $25 absolutely free. You really and truly cannot beat that. So let's take a look here, guys. Um, We'll see at where the lines are with this game. We'll go over to DraftKings Sportsbook. You can see looking at a four right here in this thing. Now, the look ahead line on this was two and a half. So you can see that the Packers been bet up here from what people th saw and thought a week ago. Four at DraftKings, 46 and a half, 195 on the money line, 170 on the comeback. Uh, over at William Hill, we're still we're looking at four as well, 46 and a half. And then at FanDuel Sportsbook, four, 46 and a half as well. So you can see this game is pretty much in line at all of the books over there in New Jersey as we sit and as we speak right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the weather. Lots of wind during the day. That should be died off by the time this game starts. So nothing to worry about there. We're looking at right at 60 degrees, no rain. So no weather concerns in Green Bay just yet. Of course, we know that will change as we get further on into the season. But as of right now, no weather to speak of there. Eagles coming off a two-game loss, two-game losing streak here where, you know, listen, they lost both games that could have been won with just a catch. Nelson Aguilar streaking down the sideline uh, against the Falcons. If he'd have caught that, he could have moonwalked into the end zone. He would have won. And then J.J. Arcega whiteside drops a touchdown pass at the end of the game last week. And again, maybe that changes the narrative of this whole game if this Eagles team, you know, if those, if those two passes are caught. So uh, just something to think about there. They are two, two catches away from being uh, having two more wins on their record here. I'll scroll down if you want to read along with some of the stuff that's going on here that Juan wrote about this game over on Play Picks. The Packers coming off of uh, sitting at 3 0, coming off wins against the Bears, Vikings, and the Broncos. Now, needless to say, those are three pretty good defenses, and the defense they are about to get here with the Eagles is much, much worse. So, something to think about there as well because look, the Packers' offense certainly looked like it has struggled a little bit here. Eagles. As far as injuries go, no Deshaun Jackson. It does look like they're going to get Alshon Jeffrey back. That is good. Corner Ronald Darby is out. Defensive tackle Tim Jernigan is out for this Eagles team. That is not good. Short week. These guys are not having time to get back here. On the Packers side, Montrevious Adams is questionable. He's a defensive lineman. Linebacker Oren Burks is questionable for them as well, but a much healthier team than the Eagles heading in to this game here. Scroll a little bit further if you are reading along. Uh, Eagles, look, on the offensive side of the ball, it's pretty easy. Get rid of the drops here. Dropped seven passes last week. Seven passes last week. Uh, Carson Wentz getting no help from this receiving core. It's, I know it's not the thing to do here in 2019, but I do believe that they are going to need to establish at least some sort of of rushing attack against this Packers defense. They are very, very good against the pass, but they do give it up on the ground. Eagles, only 20th DVOA in the league right now, uh, as far as rushing offense goes, are averaging just 3.6 yards per carry. But again, Packers team, very, very good against the, uh, against the pass. Not so great against the run. So certainly something that we are going to want to consider there. 
Now, on the Packers uh, side of the side here, offensively, hasn't really shown much so far. Now, listen, could this be that him, that uh, Aaron Rodgers and Matt LaFleur need to connect a little bit more? Maybe they need to gel a little bit more. That certainly could be the case. They need to figure out what they want to do with the backfield here with Jones and Williams. Both of these guys actually a bit nicked up heading into this game, but not a question as to whether either are going to play. So both should be in the lineup. Nothing to worry about there. Aaron Rodgers actually averaging a career low as far as fast pass attempts per game so far. But again, has played three really tough defenses. The strategy should shift in this game versus the Eagles. As far as pace goes, Green Bay 18th in situation neutral seconds per play. Philly is 15th. So we're looking right at league average in this game. So as long as this game stays within, you know, a score or whatever situation neutral type situation, then we're looking at a league average type pace. Should not be pace up, should not be pace down in this one at all. Eagles defense pretty banged up, as we mentioned. Uh, should be much better against the run than they are against the pass. However, fourth best DVOA against the run so far on the short season. They're missing a few starters, as we mentioned, on this short week here. So I would expect the Packers to go to the air early and often against this team. This secondary so far, giving up 44 receptions for 607 yards and six touchdowns. So this Eagles secondary can be had, and again, dealing with injuries as we talked about. Packers defense been very, very good this season. I'll click over here if you want to take a look at these odds that are going on over in Pennsylvania. Maybe we have some Pennsylvania viewers that are watching this video. Been very good this season, as we mentioned. Eighth best DVOA defense, this Packers uh, defense. Now listen, we're only three games through the season, I understand, but still, eighth best, much better than we thought. Been elite against the pass so far, third best DVOA against the pass corner Jair Alexander if you've been watching this guy man looks unbelievable out there actually the highest ranked corner according to pro football focus in the league so far now they have given it up on the ground so like I said if you're the Eagles you might want to establish a little bit of a run game here I know that's not the cool thing to do here in 2019 in the NFL that being said uh, the Vikings went for 198 against this Packers team the Broncos went for 149 against this Packers team. So maybe the Eagles can play to a strength here, which is, uh, uh, well, not their strength, but the strength in this game would be to not attack the Packers' pass defense and maybe try to go against this rush defense. So we'll see how they go ahead and, and, and go after this game here. So let's talk about the picks here and what we want to do in this game. Let's make a case for the under in this game, if you want to try and play the under. I mean, this basically a case for the under could just be that the Packers control this game from start to finish. It's a short week. As we mentioned, the short week games have tended to uh, favor the home team, as we've talked about time and time again. That being said, they come out, they control the game from top to bottom. They have to they get to slow the game down. They don't have to put the ball in the air as much as we thought. They do are able to run the ball a little bit more than they think. They're going to run the clock, bleed the clock a little bit more. And uh, with that, the Eagles aren't really able to put any points on the board. Looking at the under there on a on, on 46 and a half. I believe that is the best number that's out there. 46 and a half. Yeah, across the board here. So no, no reason for us to go elsewhere other than over at DraftKings. Again, DKPicks.com if you want free money over there if you're in New Jersey. Um, case for the over here. How about this? Banged up secondary for this uh, for this Eagles team, as we talked about in the Packers team, just goes absolutely nuts at home on a Thursday night. I mean, you do have Devontae Adams. You do have MVS. You've got Geronimo Miles. You've got, you have playmakers uh, catching the ball out there. So uh, and, and again, oh, by the way, you have Aaron Rodgers under center, one of the best quarterbacks in the entire league, maybe the best and most talented quarterback of our generation. So, uh, you get that, you get them firing, you get them scoring long touchdowns, you get some big splash plays on offense, and then you get this Eagles team that gets behind. They are just forced to completely abandon the run whatsoever. They have to just throw the ball 50 times in this game to try to even catch up, try to even keep up. Maybe we get a couple of garbage scores. We've seen this uh, with this Packers team as well. I mean, if you watched the game against the, uh, the Vikings, they get up really, really quick. The Vikings are able to put some points on the board. Same thing, you know, here, maybe this is they get up early. They kind of play a little bit softer here. We get some garbage time points from this Eagles team. I'm leaning towards the over in this game. I think that the uh, Packers are going to be able to have a lot of success through the air in this one. And um, uh, that's kind of how I'm going to paint the picture here. With that, this is how let's talk about some some of the player props here. And so 
If we look at the player props, I'm going to paint a picture with uh, this team having a lot of success. So maybe let's uh, we'll take a look at seeing maybe if we get some more, maybe a more friendly number over here at uh, at FanDuel whenever we're trying to kind of paint the picture of a very successful passing day for Aaron Rodgers. Oh, you see, so it's 275 over here. It's at least at 270 over here. Now, Aaron Rodgers hasn't thrown for 200, uh, over 240 yards so far in a game. That being said, I think this is how he's going to go about beating this Eagles team here. I lean towards the over. You can see a lot of people are as well. We're getting having to pay some juice on that. If you wanted the under, you're actually getting plus money. Uh, that's not how I see this thing going. I see Aaron Rodgers having a good day here, so I'm going to definitely take Aaron Rodgers over 270 yards in this thing. I'm also going to be kind of looking uh, as far as this matchup goes, uh, Aaron Rodgers over Carson Wentz as well. And then let's look at receiving yards. Uh, I want to try and get some. Uh, what I also want to try to get to is the over in. And if you can find these amongst your, you know, your various places that you uh, happen to bet out there, I'm going to paint the picture. This is what you do with your prop bets: is you basically tell a story as how the game is going to go, and then you paint that picture with your bet. So it's Rogers over passing yards. It's Rogers. Uh, it's it's over receptions for Marquez Valdez Scantling. Now his target share six six ten targets. Last week, he's run a route on nearly 80% of all of their pass plays. I think MVS has over uh, catches here. So whatever his total receptions is. So look right here. Total reception sitting at three and a half. Love the over in this for, for Marquez Valdez-Scantling. He got 10 targets last week, caught six of them. I can see him getting, you know, eight, nine targets in this one as well over the three and a half. So I'm painting a picture with my prop bets here of a successful passing day for Aaron Rodgers. If you can find a no interception passed up uh, for prop for Aaron Rodgers as well. I really like the no interception prop for Aaron Rodgers. Uh, certainly something to look at as well. Aaron Rodgers um, has not thrown an interception so far this year. He threw two interceptions on 597 attempts last year. So if you can find the no on uh, interceptions, for or under whatever it might be interceptions for Aaron Rodgers I would also do that as well as far as this goes look at first I thought maybe I was going to lean the Eagles here getting more than a field goal but I, I the more I dug into this and the more that I see how this game really just does favor the Packers here bad pass defense for the Eagles uh, Packers being at home here. This number had gotten as high as five. Now bet back down to four. Getting it at four for me seems like a little bit of a value here. I think Aaron Rodgers in this past game with Devontae Adams, MVS, Allison, all these guys are going to have a big day against this banged up Eagles team, banged up Eagles secondary. So I'm going to play the Packers here and I'm going to play the over in this one. Probably not going to parlay them together. Just two separate uh, bets on that. Uh but listen, feeling pretty, uh, feeling pretty good about this one. Of course, this is not a teaser range. We're not teasing anything through zeros or anything like that. So uh, it's just going to be straight play on, on the Packers and the over in this game. And I know the unders has trended very heavily in these Thursday games. But again, we're, some of these games have been real stinkers. Some of these teams that have played on Thursdays have been really, really horrible. We actually do have a Packers team with a pulse. And, you know, the Eagles should be able to put up a fight, especially with Alshon Jeffrey coming back as well. Guys. If you enjoyed this content, please head over to playpicks.com. As we mentioned, boom, free article here. Read on how uh, Juan thinks this game is going to go. You can head over here to the lines slash TNF, as you can see in the uh, navigation bar up here. You get a full-on betting page. And, of course, if you just want to see the odds for uh, for the whole week, you can just click the odds feed here, the lines.com slash odds. And you can get all of the odds that are going on um, here in, you know, here in uh, week four. So pretty cool stuff going on there as well. Please go ahead and subscribe. Please go ahead and like this video. And please let us know in the comments who you're playing. Like we said, can't win them all. Not going to win them all. But we sure as hell are going to try and do that. Had some luck so far this season. Had some good luck last season as well. So we're uh, certainly trying to keep on that momentum as we go on here. Appreciate you watching. We'll be back for Sunday night and Monday night football.